Welcome to season four of Community Storytelling. I'm Lisa Chrysler. Linda Lester, thank you for, for supporting us and honoring us all the time. We so appreciate you. We so love Lester Square. I got a fun one right now. You know, I always say if you have a story to tell, this is the place to do it. You sit on the couch next to me, you go to kcat.org. Um, actually, I think I was the one who nominated this story. But uh, I have two gentlemen here today, and this is just the start of the story because it's a good one. We got Tom Spilsbury. We got Dr. Ellis Weaker, who I worked with years ago on the American Heart Association. And here we are, we're both in Los Gatos. And are you still practicing? Not anymore. Good, good, <laughs> you did your time. time. He finally got it right, that's, <laughs> he doesn't have to practice it's anymore. It's time. It's Everybody's time. heart is working just fine and you don't have to worry about not, that anymore. Not, not so both these gentlemen are on the Los Gatos Commission Art. of Arts and Culture, Culture no, how you say it right. Art and Culture Commission. The Art and Culture Commission. And I, just living here for the last two years, have felt we have a lot of art and a lot of culture in Los Gatos, which is one reason why I love this place. But obviously we needed more because yes. we have you two gentlemen working on it. Not just us, we have a commission of about six people. It really? changes a little bit. Uh, we have uh, uh, people from the community and one student from the high school as uh, uh, commissioners. Nice. And uh, we've been working on this project for uh, several years. And this project is why you're sitting here today. I actually met Tom. I was taking a walk down Los Gatos Saratoga Road, Highway 9, at Alberto Lane, right by Los Gatos Lodge. And all of a sudden, I see this fabulous sculpture. It says Los Gatos, and it's got this abstract mountain lion. And it turned out that was the day you installed it with right. the artist who we'll be talking to in a little bit, Matt Babcock. And I said, would you take my picture? And you said, sure, if you take mine. I love it, I love it. That is one of the Gateway Projects. And tell us about it. Well, the Gateway Project, we started, the, the concept started about eight or nine years ago, basically. And we started to put the, together the, the concept uh, where, with locations and how to put it together through the staff of Los Gatos, who, uh, of the town of Los Gatos, which has been absolutely phenomenally helpful to get us through all this stuff. Uh, it, everything Nine has years. to. Nine years. I'm uh, still well, back on we that. Had, we had we we had went through a a, a process of of uh, trying to figure out if everybody wanted it. So we took surveys out in the community about uh, public art and what what kind of public art people would like to see, and that took about a year and. Everything takes about a year by the time you get going. We only meet once a month, and uh, so getting things moving is, is a slower process, but we've had wonderful political support from all the commissioners, uh, quite frankly, and uh, we've had wonderful support from the staff. So uh, we're just glad to have it up. We, we hope to uh, put up uh, uh, several more. There's 11 different sites that we've had picked out and that the town has kind of agreed about putting there. Do we have that many entrances to Los Gatos? We actually have 14, but really? we're only going to use 11 because one is Shannon Road way up in the mountains. All and right. Who's, that doesn't count because there's real mountain lions up there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but, but, yeah, but we're going to, we're trying to narrow it down and, and this project is evolving in, in many ways. So. so how did you come up with what you did? I, I think almost everybody in Los Gatos, I would hope, has seen this. It's, um, you know, right there, as I said, at Alberto and uh, Highway 9. And are they all going to be the same thing, this mountain lion? Not necessarily. I mean, we are thinking that that was a good place to start because the cat is such a, you know, very it's important part of this town. But if you notice, that's a very edgy kind of cat. It's not just uh, the cat we've always been used to. So we try to be a little different. But there are some other themes in addition to this one. Some people think that we should have a lot of them that are similar, maybe different colors, but some people think we ought to have other kinds of uh, monuments. Uh, it's a lot of You mean other than the cat we all have yes. on our porch in the backyard, the, yeah, exactly. the little statue? That's Leo or Leona uh, <laughs> are the names of those right. cats. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, yeah, so the male is Leo, of course, and the uh, female is Leona. Well, I have uh, two of them in my backyard. And, and they've been the synonymous uh, look of Los Gatos since the 50s, uh, so we're trying to uh, upgrade it, make it a little more hip or you know uh, edgy. I guess is the the correct word. And I think what we're gonna we're gonna try to do is, uh, I think there's some uh, economies of scale, and we 
battle with budget issues as well as anybody <laughs> else. So to, to move the process along, it might be more uh, economically feasible to get other ones if we use the same cat because it's cheaper. He doesn't have to be pattern the, the recast, recast repattern, uh, all the things that uh, go on uh, in, in making this sculpture. So can we go back? I did not realize the history of the cat that, you know, you buy at, um, you know, the nursery and everybody, we all have the same one, different size. Well, there seem to be only two different sizes, but you said it goes back to the 50s. Uh, Leo and Leonis. Le Leona. Leona, Leona. Uh, where did that come from? I, I, I'm not educated on that. Do I you know, Doctor? I don't have the answer for that. I know that it's been one of these uh, you know, stories about Los Gatos. Everybody recognizes the two cats, and, and they're used to those two cats, and then certainly in a lot of places where you can buy them. But nobody's really taken this direction, really, to have something that's, that's going to stand out. Well, well, quite frankly, I do know, uh, and I just wasn't thinking. The cat, the <laughs> two cats that are uh, positioned at the cats, right before the cat's restaurant, yes. where it was Mrs. Ogilvie's property, and Mrs. Ogilvie owned a, a, a large amount of property in, in town, uh, owned a, a large piece across the street from the high school here where the Las uh, uh Hotel is now, mm -hmm. uh, and several other pieces of property. Her home compound was up the road, and she had built these two large cats on either side, so they, that was how we got the cats and the restaurant, the cats, and I think it, 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 Just it, it germinated from sure. those two statues uh, into what we have today. Well, I don't know if you did this, but as a teenager, when we got our driver's license finally, we would all s drive up there and try and see behind the gates where the <laughs> two big cats are. We'd go at night when nobody was around, and of course there was no lighting, so we couldn't see anyway. Mm -hmm. But that was the thing, you know, uh, you drove up there and you tried to peek to see what was behind those two big cats. Mm -hmm. That's a great story. Thank you for remembering that yeah, line. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but um, uh, anyway, I think what, what we're trying to do is uh, as commissioners, we work for the the town uh, uh, council, and we are. So that means you work for us, for us residents. We, right? we do, <laughs> and, and we work for free, by the way. And if you guys want to serve as a salary, we'd, we'd like to take I'm one. I'm sure. Um, but but nonetheless, we've been uh, we we're, we're trying. We've got many different things that we're working on, but this is one of the most important because of of the fact that we want to. Um, let people know when they come from San Jose or Campbell or Saratoga that they're coming to Los Gatos because well, all Los Gatos are proud of, of the town. Uh, I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't. W when I travel, they say, where are you from? I say Los Gatos and I say California, and then I say America, right? So I think it's very, we, we have a proud heritage of being we proud do. of this town. And I think that's, well, that's something that we all like to, um, to enforce. So how did we come up with what we came up with this? And I'll be talking to Matt, who, you know, I know, I know he, you know, is this sculptor who kind of goes for the abstract. And you had a lot of people compete for we this did. job. We did. We did. What different types of cats and presentation, presentations did people make? Well, we, we, we had about 19 different people apply. Did you give them rules? Uh, we did. We, we wrote down rules on how we wanted to hopefully mount it, uh, the size roughly uh, uh, of six by eight by 12 or whatever. Uh, I don't remember the exact uh, dimensions at this point, but so we, we had a spec sheet basically that we gave out to them and we told them that we wanted to have something that was uh, reminiscence or, or w would recognize Los Gatos that, that, that we have here in Los Gatos. And uh, basically uh, pretty much everybody came back and we looked at several different sketches and prototypes, uh, and then we picked three, and then we gave the people who, the, the three we picked, uh, a small pittance to put together a prototype that they could then show and present to uh, our, us and then the town council. And were they all some sort of a cat? No, some were not. There were some other things that were quite different, actually. Like? Oh, there's a dancer. Yeah, there's one, uh, one, one sculpture is from, uh, from uh, San Jose uh, that uh, we, we came in about fourth, actually, but it's really cool. He, he makes uh, kind of sculptures out of, uh, without a better uh, uh, explanation, uh, pipes that look like muffler pipes. They're, they're kind of like stick figures. And he had these two dangling uh, uh, 
people like uh, sculptures uh, painted uh, uh, different colors that were hanging and so in the wind they would look like they're moving so he called it the dancers and we're hoping we can still uh, put that uh, piece somewhere else in Las Gatas at this point. So they're all going to be different once you get the... That's up, for, that's up for question right now. Some people actually feel like there ought to be some similarity between the monuments. Some people think, no, it's great to have variety. And we haven't, I don't think, settled on mm -hmm. an, an exact formula yet. Well, I think the, it doesn't matter what we think. The council, right. the council seems to want to brand it. Well, uh, they're paying, I, yes, I assume yes. they're paying and, for it. And yes. so I think what's going to, my, my guess, and I, I, I'm not a mind reader and I can't guess the future, but my guess is we'll do one or two more of these because of the economy of it. And then maybe we'll change it up for the third or fourth one uh, when we see how much, uh, political support we get and 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 uh, and popular support i mean so far everybody i've talked to it i've had one or two people who don't like it but they most don't like every, the color or yeah, they think it's a little or too or why abstract. did you put it there but almost everybody thinks it's cool i mean it's very uh, cool. even if you don't like it they think it's cool but they, they there's you can't please all, all the people all the time so i think we, we've done a good job to get what art is supposed to do is get people talking and it certainly has done that. So, and I think that way we've won uh, a big monument and uh, a, a monumental uh, a feat, uh, quite frankly. So originally, I thought I read that there were going to be four more locations. That originally five gateways were picked. Can you share the other four? What's the plan? Well, we, we selected actually a lot more than that. I mean, you just to back up a little bit, you can't just decide you're going to put something in this location. You have to consider whether the town owns it or not, whether safety owns it is cooperative to allow you to use mm -hmm. it. It has to be one that's safe. I mean, you don't want to put it, want to put it someplace where people get distracted driving around it. And you also have to be concerned a little bit about the safety of the monument itself. It has right. to be secure. So there are a lot of considerations and we had criteria for where we could put things and we ended up with, I think Tom mentioned, something like 14 or 15 locations that all fit, uh, that all met some uh, criteria for, and that was important to us. And then we ranked them. Can I have one outside my house? Sure. <laughs> you can have it uh, in your garden just, if yeah. you want to. Uh, make the check out to uh, oh, yes. Town of Las Gatas. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, no I, I think what's, uh, what's important about it though is that uh, uh, the locations that we do have uh, were looked at very carefully by Public Works. Yes. And, sure. and just make sure we're not infringing on right away. And they looked at it. The uh, parks and uh, rec looked at it for you know how it's going to fit in with the landscaping and not uh, deter the landscaping. But a lot of the spots that we have in town are uh, somewhat controlled or maybe controlled by Caltrans. That's an issue that Caltrans and, and the town has to work out. Mm -hmm. So we have we we're, we were looking at at the end of Wood Road and and Santa Cruz where you go off when you, if you leave town to go to Santa Cruz yes. or if you come in there was going to be a roundabout there that roundabout is not going to happen but there's still the town owns that little parking lot there and there's a space where we might be able to put the a statue there we're looking at uh, Oka Road uh, I'm excuse me Lark Avenue and Highway 17 uh, there's a wide uh, meridian uh, there on, on Lark that they just built for the new housing development there that one would place nicely there uh, but we've have we have one another one up on Saratoga as you come in from Saratoga right almost in front of the uh, at Masal a little bit before you get to mm -hmm. Masal so we're trying to get them as close to the city limits as we can or the town limits we're also there's a couple different ones on Winchester but maybe uh, those are a little bit a little more hard to deal with because they're not in the middle they're on the sides and right so we're trying to so get much the to most consider. bang for the buck too i mean of course. so and, and we want to put them where there's a lot of traffic a lot of traffic see and a lot of exposure i mean if we're going to go to the trouble of you know selecting and putting something somewhere we would like a lot of people to see it a lot of people to know that they're driving into las gavas it's really important for us to have our our name our, the name of the town out there so people can recognize where they are but we we, we owe a lot of this to the the utility box uh, art program that they started about five years ago. Which is also great. Yeah, so that has really he helped get the town aware of how much people like art. having something colorful besides something, a blah there. And, do, do, and that's why I think we, we picked those colors for, we, uh, for the statue that we have now, or the sculpture we have now, uh, just to give it 
so a little pop, a little something different than a, a black stone. And, uh, you know, we had red letters instead of black letters. And, you know, all we tried to do something a little Love bit it. that would catch your eye. So Tom, Tom didn't mention, but we looked at lots of other towns and cities around this area, also in California. And we saw a lot of things that were just, you know, welcome to X, you know. Exactly. I, mean, I don't remember seeing yeah. anything in the Bay Area like this. It seems no. to be quite different. If yes. you go into S Santa Clara, for example, uh, they have a, an underpass that says, Welcome to Santa Clara, right. written on it. If you're in Newport Beach and you go into the uh, Balboa Peninsula, it says, Welcome to Balboa Peninsula, or uh, uh, Welcome to Corona Del Mar, or, you know, uh, Welcome to Lido Island, right? Exactly. But it's a sign. This is more of a uh, an art piece yeah, have that you says heard Los Gatos. From <laughs> other places saying, Wow, look what you've done. We have, it's not been up long enough for us to get a lot of oh. feedback yet. We, we haven't re really met with the council yet, so we don't know what they're thinking at all. But I'm sure that um, we encourage everybody who likes it to, to send an email to anybody on the council to please say, sure. yeah, we love it, we like it, and let's do more. Or if you hate it, tell them that too, because I think uh, it's, free, it's, a, it's a free for all as far as information, and all the information is good because we can learn from the stuff that people don't like as well. Do we, we need were hoping actually for that. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no. But we were actually looking for a first try where we could come back and say, you know, we learned this about the process, about how to do it, where to put it, what people think about it, all those things. This was going to be a, for us and still is a great opportunity to learn how to do more of them in a very intelligent, very attractive way. Do we need another round of funding to do the next two and three? Or? We do. We do. We do. <laughs> so we have to ask. We have to uh, uh, ask it. the ask the town to uh, uh, find a budget line for us. And so far, I think that they're they're amenable to trying to do that. I mean, uh, th what we get for what we've paid for this thing is is fairly a lot. We've got a lot for it. I think uh, a lot of product for what we had to pay. We got. I think we. We went through a very in interesting process and everybody agreed to what we were doing. And uh, I think the, the artists are happy to, to do it. They and, get paid uh, though, right? Yes, they, they get, get paid. paid. So, uh, and, and, and they'd uh, like to do more. They'd like of to do course. more. Of yeah. course. Uh, do we have any empty utility boxes that still need to be painted? We do have. Uh, I get blank would be well, the proper Well, the problem word. with the utility boxes is some of them are owned by the town, some of them are owned by PG&E, some are owned by mm. Comcast. So we have, we're right in the process now of, uh, this is, that project is really done under Parks and Rec. Uh, okay, is that uh, where people would get in touch if they have yeah, an idea for yeah, one? Yes. Uh, uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, uh, Mrs. Ches Cheslet is the lady who handles it there and she's great. She's really on top of it and she's really spearheaded that program. So she's a, a, a great resource there. And uh, there, I, we're doing four right now and I, we, we just picked the four artists, what, a month ago? Yeah. So, so we're we, we, so they'll be out probably in the but, utility so, box. Yes, yeah, I was going to say our commission uh, actually meets to look at all of the possibilities, and people submit their their hopeful proposals that we will accept them, and then we look at the locations. I mean, for example, if one's near a school, we might select a subject which is you know you know appropriate for that. But it's a great opportunity for us for to learn you know who are the real artists. A lot of them are young, very young artists, but uh, there are a lot of people with potential. Now, do you have any more room on the commission? We do. You we do? do. <laughs> we do. Okay, yeah. how do we apply? <laughs> uh, call the town yeah. and, and just ask, say, I want to be on the Arts Commission. Uh, you have to be uh, approved by the council. They will uh, interview, you. interview you. Um, so there's an there's, uh, uh, application you fill out. It, I don't think you really... We have people of all different backgrounds and, and uh, uh, professions that have been you, on the you, commission. You don't necessarily have to be an artist, although it's helpful to us as a commission to have some people on our commission to have those, you know, those at education or at least training. But, but we have all kinds of people. Well, it sounds like a fun group and so it many is. fun things you're working on. Yeah, we, we've, we're excited about it. We, we're right in a position now where we, it's taken a, a, a long time to get our engine running. Sure, but, our engine's but it's running, running now. Our engine's running it's now. It's going. And, I, and, I, and we might be going at five miles an hour. We'd like to be going at 10, but we're happy to go five. <laughs>
We're well, happy to I go fly. I can't wait to see where the next one is going to end up and if it's going to be and just you know like what? the we current can't one. Either. You can't <laughs> either. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're with you on that too. <laughs> well, you know what? I think we need to we need to bring Matt Babcock on here. He is the the sculptor from Seattle. We're going to bring him in via Zoom. Uh, modern day technology, right? Uh, you gentlemen are welcome to stick around and you know and you know listen to what he has he may know some secrets you don't know who knows he may but tom and doctor what a pleasure to have you on and i love it i don't care if anybody complains about it i think it's fabulous it's and you live in the neighborhood and so that i walk by it every day we won again <laughs> we, we have heard very few complaints actually and uh the internet has lots of comments that i think for the most part they've been very positive. and you know there's always those people who just like to complain yeah, but even so those we'll have just been very minor. I, I, I think it's been wonderful. The color might be not quite enough. And it's been a pleasure to have both Thank of you, so you next to me. Thanks for the opportunity oh, to you're sit so here welcome. with you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's great. We want people, more people to know about it. We want people to uh, uh, enjoy the art. And, and we're going to try to get more art around the town Love and murals it. and uh, other sculptures and uh, all kinds of things. So. Uh, stay tuned, more to come. We will. And we'll come back with when we got our next project you and let you know. You better come but, back. Well, very much we, we would like the commission, all the commission members to get the recognition they deserve because everybody Absolutely. is doing their utmost to, to be helpful, to be... Uh, so know, rattle off their names quickly. I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> Tom's <laughs> better at that. I'm not very good at it well, either. But uh, the town council, though, has been very supportive and, and I, I, we appreciate all, all their help too. And uh, the commission is... Uh, well, Marine, there's Maureen sure. Kapanjavi, uh, Mike, Mike Miller. Miller. Um, oh, I'm forgetting. We're at four. We only need uh, one more. Amy, Amy uh, Fashionette is, is, is uh, and uh, it's the I don't, camera lights. They I don't know the name of the high school girl. I'm sorry. I that's don't, okay. Uh, but she, uh, I think that's it. She's though. a wildcat. I think that's it. There might be one more, but we, we do change our commission a lot, which is why we can't just you know, give you a list like this. And, and it's actually a very good thing because we're able to bring in sure. new people. Sure, new and, blood. And then we're able to you know, get new people New blood, excited. new breath. Yeah. And, at, and at my age, uh, you know, memory, the, the, the memory went uh, first. You're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> and we have a couple of new people. We, we got here, though. <laughs> yes, and that's <laughs> all that matters. New people who just uh, started. One of your friends, I thought it was somebody. Oh, else. yeah. Uh, Pam Murphy is on Pam the board. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. See, and I. Uh, all and of a sudden, and, we have all sorts I've known of names. Pam's been uh, uh, involved with the uh, uh, Morning Rotary and the Plan Air for years, so she's got a, a, a great uh, a repertoire to help us, too. So I think. Uh, it's, it's just like I said, the memory went. Okay. Yes. So there we go. You know what? We're going to take a break. We're going to take you over to Leicester Square, take a walk, do a little shopping, have a bite to eat, and then we'll have Matt Babcock on, and he's going to give us some of his secrets of making the sculpture that I love, the gateway to Los Gatos. So stay with us. You're watching KCAT TV 15. Hi, it's Lisa Chrysler. I'm at Leicester Square right here at the corner of Blossom Hill Road and Los Gatos Boulevard. A lot of fun things to do. Ken! Lisa, I didn't so even nice to see you. Finish my sentence. I'm so surprised to see you. What are you doing well, here? Well, we live close by and we're taking Rocky to the vet today. So do you have time for a cup of coffee at Phil's with me afterwards? Sure. Is it your treat or mine? It's definitely your treat. And Rocky's coming too. I, good with me. I am so glad to run into you at Leicester Square. It's one of my favorite places. It's one of my favorite places too. And we've been to Varenza and Super Duper and Phil's and we love going here. Too. And so you know where I live, I have no flowers. So I come here to Leicester Square to enjoy all the flowers. They're gorgeous. So the motto here that Linda Lester coined is meet me at the square or meet us at the square or meet your besties at the square. I meet everybody at the square. It's Leicester Square in Los Gatos. Come on by and cheers. Yes. Welcome back from our short walk over to Leicester Square. Thank you again, Linda Lester, for supporting us here at KCAT TV 15. I'm Lisa Chrysler. If you're just joining us and you just missed a fabulous interview of how we came about to have the gateway sculpture that is on Alberto and Highway 9 in Los Gatos, which is the first of what we hope will be many. And I now have the privilege of having the sculptor with us who's on Zoom from Seattle. Matt, you and I met the day you installed that. I don't think you physically installed it. I missed the actual installation, but you were standing there marveling at it. And I walked up and said, oh my God, oh my God, take my picture, I love this thing. 
So, mm -hmm. I mean, how did it feel to see your work of art go up? Uh, it's always one of the best days uh, of a project. You know, these projects have kind of a long lead time, and you just you look forward to that day, and yeah. it's always great. And it is great. I, I walk by it every day and it just gives me an automatic smile. And it's still in pristine condition. Like oh, you good. just put it up. It's perfect. Shiny as ever. But so, that thing should last a long time. How long did it take you to actually make that? Mm. Give or take a few weeks. <laughs> Give or take a few weeks. Um, if I compressed it all into... Um, into full-time work, probably month, month and a half. Really? So let's go back to the beginning. How did you even find out Los Gatos was looking for a gateway piece? Uh, they uh, put out uh, various places on the internet, uh, aggregate calls for artists. Uh, I don't actually know how they get from uh, your arts commission to those uh, various websites, but uh, I looked through those regularly and found it, and it seemed like a, potentially a good fit. Had you done other pieces for other cities and towns? I have not. This is my first gateway oh. sculpture or, or really my first sign. And what did it say? Like, how did you even know how to figure out what to make? Because you, you were competing against what it turned out to be uh, between 17 and 19 people who all had yeah. different ideas. How did you come up with this idea? Well, we were given basically size limitations. Uh, so I started by maxing those out. Um, we were given that it was to say Los Gatos on both sides. Uh, so that was uh, kind of a slam dunk. Uh, and then, you know, in my research, I was looking into where'd the town get its name? And it's sort of an interesting story about how the town got its Share name. Share it. I know it, but not everybody does. Yeah, well, it actually dates back before the Mexican-American War. Uh, shortly before the war, there was kind of a scramble to um, distribute land. Uh, and uh, a Mexican noble got this this grant, and it was named La Rinconada de los Gatos, uh, the the corner of the cats. And I think it was kind of a snub. It was like, hey, for you, my esteemed friend, a weird little scrap of land that is inhabited by <laughs> nobody but wild cats. <laughs> and so um, that name survived. It was one part of the ending of the war um, in the treaty that those grants be honored. Uh, so it, it kept that name, it became a ranch, um, and eventually, what you got now? <laughs> so we, yes, we have the Mountain Lions. You know, I'm on Next Door, which is a, you know, a neighborhood publication, and every day somebody's seen the, the biggest mountain lion they've ever seen. So mm -hmm. you, you picked a mountain lion. Yep, um, yep. But you made it, you put your own little abstract twist on it. Is that your flavor, the way you made it? Yeah, it's one of my flavors. Um, <laughs> generally, uh, I think of my work as making lines or brush strokes in the air, uh, sort of three-dimensional calligraphy. Uh, and this uh, way of creating those brush strokes with the folded metal plates is... Uh, uh, something I've been experimenting with recently, you know, always trying something new. Now, when you first sit down to work it out, do you like get wires and make a miniature one? I mean, how does it get from start to finish? That's a great question. And once upon a time, it started with wires or popsicle sticks <laughs> or PVC pipe and and you like tried to stick it together with something and it fell apart and then you had to measure it to make the full size thing and it fell apart again and you know it was just it was awful so now i have this computer which is fantastic <laughs> i can model these things in three dimensions on the computer sure. i can use it to 
create the proposal drawings to sell the idea and I can use that same model to create shop drawings for fabrication uh, so that the thing I make precisely matches the thing I showed them. Um, how many revisions that, were there? How many revisions? Um, a million. <laughs> uh, you know, the nice thing about the, the computer is you can you can tweak it and you can put it back and you can tweak it the other way and you can put it back and you can it's free you can do that as often as you want and i'm sometimes i'm really fussy and so i do that a lot <laughs> and how did you pick the colors well i knew that this piece was a lot of my pieces are a bit more abstract than this cat um but i knew that this piece was going to be seen by people passing by pretty quick in vehicles on a busy road. So it needed to be something where they could get to the, aha, that's what it is moment fast. So the cat looks pretty cat-like and I chose a cat-like color for it. Um, so that gave me the tan color on the cat and the others I, I selected to go with it. They're kind of, they strike me as kind of 50s colors. Yeah, They're, you know, yeah. like, like, like my, my grandpa's bathroom, you know. Yeah. And, um, and Southern California, a lot of it, including Los Gatos, a lot of it, parts of it kind of feel like the, that 50s style to me. So, um, I don't know, that, that's now, hopefully not offensive to people, no, but uh, I, I think <laughs> it's my, my impression. <laughs> I think they are perfect. Now, I'm wondering, you know, the, the town isn't sure they have, they'd like to have more gateways and they're not quite sure yet, you know, in terms of expense and what they're going to do and how many. Could you make different variations of the same cat? Here, I'm making a proposal for you. We could have different gateway entrances, the same cat, but maybe in a different pose. What do you think of that idea? Well, I think <laughs> it's a great idea. Uh, I like making this stuff, so you... <laughs> I'd I could be, be happy your to agent. make some more. I, I could be uh, your agent. We could work on this together. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, have you sent pictures around the country showing people what you've done? Because I've, I've, I've posted this picture, the picture of you and me and the cat, many cool. times. I've shown it to many people. Have you been sharing cool. it a lot? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I put it up on my website, um, and then I, I put links to my website on linkedin and other places um i've also got it on a few different um sort of public art portfolio sure, I would, resources i so would think you're pretty proud it's out, of it it's out there and not too hard to find yeah i mean you're i i would assume you are proud of it i am i think it came out great i think uh it does um it does fit the location. Oh, yeah. And it does sort of justice, fit the town. So. It does justice to the name. It really does. It's great. Well, it's been so much fun having you back, seeing you on Zoom rather than in person. But I'll tell you, I'll be walking right by your, your gateway sculpture again tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll give you a wave from afar and with Sounds a big good. smile because it's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you. I like to hear that. Thank you, Matt Babcock. It's been great. Perfect end to the interview. So thanks, right. for, thanks for being part of Community Storytelling right here at KCAT TV 15. Come and visit My, us again in person, okay? Oh, I, I look forward to it. Have a good one. You too. So there you have it, Community Storytelling. Do we need to get you on here? I think we do. You know somebody great to nominate? KCAT.org, you know it well by now. I'm Lisa Chrysler. I'd love to be sitting with you right here at KCAT TV 15.